The WikiHow 8 channel. It features How to make a wrist corsage. At many formal and semi-formal occasions, wrist corsages are a fashionable and even expected accessory. Learning how to make a wrist corsage can save you from paying a florist to do the same thing and can allow you to design a unique, thoughtful presentation for either yourself or your companion. Method 1 Traditional Corsage 1. Decide on a color theme. Stick to colors that complement each other. Consider the colors found on the dress or suit and make sure your theme matches appropriately. If for prom, consider using your school colors. You can look at an interior design color wheel for inspiration if necessary. Choose colors that are opposite from each other on the wheel, for instance, yellow and purple, or blue and orange. 2. Choose your flowers. Purchase, or pick from the garden, flowers that are close to fully blooming, and keep them in water before you make the corsage. Plan on getting 3 to 5 blooms, depending on their size. In general, try to choose sturdy flowers that can hold up to somewhere, They'll look better at the end of the night than delicate flowers, such as tulips. Here are some popular options to consider. Roses. Daisies. Orchids. Lilies. Cymbidium. 3. Choose a filler flower. This is an accent to the main flowers. It adds fullness to the overall corsage and highlights the color. Examples of filler flowers include. Baby's breath, gypsophila. Fern leaves. Eucalyptus. 4. Choose your wristband. The flowers are the main event, but how you anchor your corsage can change the aesthetic. Try these options. Buy a corsage bracelet. Make a band out of coordinating ribbon or lace. Any band that is snug on your wrist. 5. Choose any coordinating trinkets, if desired. An accent to a wrist corsage can be eye-catching and personalize your corsage. Bracelet charms. Pearls. Lace. 6. Cut the stems of the flowers short. Leave about 1 half to 1 inch, 1.3 to 2.5 centimeters, under the bud. Use wire cutters or scissors to cut the stems to equal lengths. Add wire to any flowers with two short stems. 7. Bind each of the flower stems with floral wire and tape. This will make it easier for you to bend the flowers into the position desired. Start from the top of the stems and work towards the bottom. The tape wraps at a diagonal, like the stripes on a barber pole. Make two rounds with the floral tape to completely cover the stems. Coming soon full video on the channel leave. Your comment and like thank you. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell.